everybody um welcome back to my channel today i just wanted to talk about low milk supply so this is with my second son i started to pump strictly pump um, with my first son i did not even try at all that's just not something i wanted to do second son i strictly just wanted to pump i did right away try to breastfeed i he latched on one time and he did have a good latch but i just did not like the feeling like that was just not for me i felt very uncomfortable so i decided to strictly pump first of all pumping is so 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 time consuming um that you have to be really dedicated to pumping and when you have a low milk supply, it just sucks because you try so hard to get like m enough milk for at least to feed them. And when you can't even do that, it is so heartbreaking because you just, you are working so hard to do it. I experienced this right away. Um, my milk did not come in for over a week, I want to say. So... I had like no colostrum even like in the hospital I was pumping every two hours and I just was not getting anything which was terrible um so Kaden was on formula right away and then when I finally started getting my milk in like a week after I had him or maybe even a week and a half I got nothing like I had maybe half an ounce per boob to an ounce per boob max and like how it was working is, is that i was starting right away i would have like an ounce per boob and then it would slowly i think actually in the morning i'd have almost two ounces per boob and then throughout the day it would like slowly dwindle to half an ounce per boob and it was terrible i was struggling so much I was starting to get depressed because I just felt like a terrible mom because I couldn't provide milk, enough milk I should say, for my son. And then I don't even know how I got out of that, but like I think there was one day where I just, I was so depressed, I just almost wanted to give up because I was barely producing anything. Um, I was trying everything to, I right away was on fenugreek and that didn't help at all i tried like the um smoothies with like flaxseed and almond milk and the booby smoothies and booby bites anything literally uh, i had all i mean everything you could think of almonds whatever would help produce milk i was eating that and I still wasn't producing anything. I was drinking so much water and I still couldn't produce more than like an ounce of boob, which was really sad. Um, then what I started to do after that was I actually started to look up different supplements because reading around, that's what it said to try to do. And then I also read that fenugreek can actually decrease your supply it kind of depends on the person. Sometimes it can increase, help increase, and sometimes it can help decrease. So I got off of that after a week or two of being on that when it wasn't helping at all. And then um, I slowly, I found this supplement, and I, I was a little skeptical about it. So I really, really looked into it, and I found it on Instagram, and I just wanted to make sure that i wasn't going to waste my money on it because it's a little bit pricey um so then i started looking at it's called legendary milk i started looking at their website and i saw so 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 many good reviews so i figured i would try it um i started off with let me hear it find it quick i started off with their supplement called pump princess increased 
each boob about I was maybe getting like one and a half ounces per boob compared to one or not even one so that increased and then um I I don't honestly know I think like just from taking legendary milk supplements and then making sure to pump extra. I also power pumped, um, which helped a little bit. And just slowly after time, I have finally gotten um, two to three ounces per boob every two hours. And then um, at night, so like my three, between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. pump session, I normally get 10 ounces and then my early morning so like at 6 a.m. I have been getting 12 ounces like I honestly can't believe that that is how much I've been getting um, but that has been working for me like oops, Toby, Toby stop it Oh my goodness, these dogs are so ridiculous. Someone drove by. Someone drove by. That's what happened. Um, hi. Anyways, so these legendary mouth supplements are a little bit pricey. It is $20 for 10 days worth of one supplement. So, I mean it does get a little pricey because you can add them together. So I have tried multiple different kinds. I started off with Pump Princess and then I added um, Pump Princess and then it's called Cash Cow. I added those and that didn't increase it anymore. Um, then I tried Cash Cow Alone which didn't really increase it anymore. I am now on um, Milkapalooza. So this is actually this is what it looks like, the bottle. Um, <gasps> Darty! Stop! I like have had it with these dogs. It is so ridiculous. They have been barking at anything. Like nothing even happened and they started barking. Anyways, so then I'm on Milkapalooza right now. Um, I noticed a lot of people on Instagram have been taking have been taking Pump Princess and um, it's called Lactivist. I haven't tried that yet, but maybe I will. Um, but I've like just been making sure that I pump for my extra time after I do the hand massage, like once i'm almost done pumping like they're just dripping at that point i'll start doing hand massage on my boob to get the last little bit out um and from that yeah i went from making i don't even know like 20 ounce not even 20 ounces a day for a while okay yeah i probably went from making like 20 ounces to now I make on average 42 ounces a day, which is so awesome because now I, I really, I like freeze half of it. So that makes me feel really good now. Um, I highly recommend, I, I highly recommend um, these leg legendary milk supplements. I know that there is also other supplements out there that are really close to this but if you are really struggling with low milk supply I encourage you to at least try them like I know that they can get expensive but this is the only thing that helped me I went from not being able to feed my baby fully like we he had formula for half the day to now he doesn't need formula at all but sometimes we will use formula at night every so often because he normally sleeps through the night now um 
But every so often he'll wake up once in the middle of the night and I don't want to leave a bottle out of breast milk and then it gets wasted. So sometimes what we'll do is just use formula so we don't have to run downstairs and unthaw breast milk or whatever. So that is kind of what I did for a low milk supply. Um, I would, uh, other things might help other people. I know sometimes your diet helps. That did not help me at all. Um, fenugreek did not help me at all. So if you're taking fenugreek and it doesn't seem to be helping, definitely switch because that can actually decrease your milk supply. Uh, let's see. I would definitely try supplements because they're not bad for the baby. They're good for the baby. They're good for you. Um, like this one, what's in it is moringa leaf, nettle leaf, and other supportive herbs. So it's not that bad for you. I know another one has like alfalfa in it. You can definitely taste alfalfa in that. Even though they're cast capsules, you can taste it. Not a huge fan of those. But, yeah, I would highly recommend it because I know having a low milk supply really sucks. And you just feel so defeated that you just don't want to do it anymore. And, like, you feel so bad. You feel like a bad mom. So I would definitely recommend doing these um, if you can afford them. I know that especially if you're doing multiple different ones, they get pretty expensive. It's a pretty good monthly payment for just some supplements. So that is what I have for you today. I hope that if any of you moms are struggling with low milk supply, that this helps you because this definitely helped me and I know it's helped lots of other people. So, and if one of the supplements doesn't work, try a different one because I'm guessing you'll be able to find a supplement that will work for you um so anyways thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe don't forget to hit the bell so that you get notified when I put another video on um, I will see you guys in my next video thank you bye